Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And if you've been following us for the past few months, you definitely know that we fell deeply in love with Hair Adorables, um, the new brand of blind box dolls from Just Play. Well, we have something very special on set today for you Hair Adorables fans. We have Series 2 Hair Adorables dolls. Um, this is an all new series with all new characters and there are now 26 new dolls total to collect um, which is fewer than the first run. So series 1 had 36 dolls total so there are 10 fewer dolls than series 1. There's also a color reveal gimmick to this series that I'm not super clear on. I don't really know what it is so we will discover that as we open these. Um, if you would like to check out our previous Hair Adorables videos, and we've actually, we actually filmed a lot considering there's only been one um, series so far, but if you'd like to check those out, I will, I will link them in the description. Um, we did also film a video checking out Series 1's Ultra Rare Rain Showers. Um, we'll see what our luck is so far for Series 2. Um, so these ones, yeah, it's the exact same situation where you know they're blind box dolls uh these were priced at um 12.88 and i got them on walmart.com i personally have not seen these in stores at all yet um i haven't really seen many or any accounts of people finding them um in stores online either so i'm not really sure when they'll be making their way to stores um but i will if i'm able to find it i will link um, where you can buy them on walmart.com. Um, last I heard, last I checked, they were sold out, but I'm sure at some point they'll restock. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into the packaging of these boxes. It's very lovely, very cute. Um, we have the same mystery girl at the front to let you know you do not know what you're getting. These are mystery blind box dolls and there are a couple characters I see Callie and Harmony and that other one, Sally. <laughs> um, and so, main way to tell aside from completely different artwork is the, yeah, the main color scheme for these boxes. Um, instead of Series 1's Deep Purple, it's all pink. So Series 2 is very, very pink. And we have some very cute artwork on Aww, the side. Aww, the art, they're so cute. Yeah, that's really cute. And there's a lot of fun. I like that they do this on the packaging. It's cute how there's, you know, you get to see all the girls and their different looks. Um, I appreciate I appreciate personally when blind box toys do this in general. Like they give you a better idea of <laughs> what the possibilities are so you're not heading into it completely, completely blind. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like I like the fact that you actually see like the prototype of the doll rather than just like artwork. So you know exactly like what kind of dolls you're getting. Yeah, for sure. And on this side, we have, um, you know, Noah giving her whole spiel. I feel like this is the exact same text that's on series one. Because, yeah, I it's just, so, yeah. yeah, it's the exact same. And it's the same art as well. It's just Noah talking about how, you know, she's really into her social media and her video went viral, yada, yada. So, all right, we're going to unbox all five of these on camera with you guys. Wish us luck. Hope we get something good. All right, so we're gonna open our first box. Um, the way these are packaged is interesting. It's sort of like the really early waves of series one. It's completely shrink wrapped, like completely. So you have to tear all that off. Okay, and like the series one boxes, you pull down the little tab to get started with opening and reveal, oh, and then you reveal the display. So, ooh, we have our collector's guide. Oh, the art, oh, art is so cute. I love it. Oh, and here we go. Here are our girls. This wave is, this wave is very, very cute. Yeah, so I'm, well, there's a lot of ones I'm hoping for. Oh, for those of you who don't know, by the way, I completed series one <laughs> of Hair Adorables. I have the entire series. Um, so if you guys at some point want to see that on our channel, let me know. But we are going to open our first surprise. So yeah, same as series one. You have the four little compartments right here and you pop them open one by one. Ooh, peace, love, and hair. 
and okay, so first surprise, we have a dark purple brush and a heart and star sticker. Yep. Wavy and wonderful. You look like a Cali, because they're purple. And this BFFs Forever. I really love one of the hairstyles in this one. It's like Sailor Moon. It's like buns and then like. Well, they had it last wave too. I feel like it was a little bit different last wave, but maybe I'm wrong. So yeah, we have a pair of purple and green shoes. I am pretty confident this is Cali, the smart girl. <clears throat> buns, buns the word. Buns the word. Like bird is the word. <laughs> um, rainbow realness. Okay, oh, cute. So over here. Yeah. Oh, this is hardcore Cali. Yeah. It's a little nerdy, like keyboard looking lunchbox. <clears throat> Cuteness ahead. Ooh. This is a pretty thing. This is so cute. It's like a little candy hair piece and it's like some little sugar pink curls. This is something interesting they didn't do last time. They, there's like a little straw to keep the hair in place. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so of course, da -na -na -na. we're gonna reveal our girl. It's the exact same picture <laughs> from series one. Oh, you are Callie. Oh, she looks like she has the Sailor Moon hairstyle too. I want to say she has. What's that one girl? Yeah. The evil girl. Um. Just purple hair. Oh, Koan. Yeah. Catsy in the dub. Oh, yep. So here's Callie. Let's dress her up. All right. So this is keyboard Callie. Um, she's very cute. I like the little Wi-Fi signal overalls. She's the techie girl. Yeah. Um, she's like the weird combination that Max doesn't like, purple and like lime green. That's true. There's not really a huge... I, this use of it is kind of cute though. I like how... She's very Claudine. She is very Claudine, yeah. She's very... I actually like the Wi-Fi like symbol though. It's like glittery kind of. It's very cute. Um, it's kind of interesting they gave her like a candy hair piece. That's something I'd expect more on like Dee Dee or something like that. I'm surprised they didn't give her like a technical like nerdy hair piece but um as you can see she has a stand it's amazing her adorables come with stands now y'all um yeah this was we forgot to take that out in the packaging while we were filming but we'll show it in the next box and the color reveal accessory there's this little tag where it, it lets you know which accessory is the color changing one in Callie's case, it is her hair piece. The so little, we'll you know. try to do that now. <clears throat> All right, so it's her little candy thing. We got a glass of cold water here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it turns like, oh, it's like greeny, lime green. Cute. Super cute. Yeah. All right, we're moving on to box number two. Okay, surprise number one. Oh, I think we got, I feel like we got Bella. Yeah, we got a lavender rose brush. Same stickers. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that's the color changing one. That's so pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's so pretty. I have no oh. idea what it is. I don't know what this is, but it's really pretty. And that's the color changing thing. So we have you know, a little tag about it. And same picture. Same little deal, rainbow realness. Oh no, this is totally, if it's a seashell, well I don't know. The last one, the theme didn't totally fit her, so maybe this is Willow, because Willow's very like mermaid themed in this one. Mm -hmm. And I like the color of this hair, it's like an icy blue. Oh my god, I love it. This is Willow. This is totally Willow. Yeah, it's like looks like little goggles. And okay, that 
Let's open her up. Who we got? Oh. Look at that crazy hair. Ooh, her hair is cray cray. All right, and yeah, there she is. So goes. yes, the stand comes in the back. So nice they include stands now. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. So we got Water Willow, and she is super cute. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, it seems like I guess they're not going to make Willow a permanent unicorn girl. It seems like she's just going to be like fairy tale creatures, which I am down with um, because all of her dolls in series two are very, you know, water and mermaid themed. She is also this series um, ultra rare. The ultra rare in this series is a full on mermaid willow. Um, she's so wearing- it's not this one. No, it's not this one, unfortunately. Um, yep, she's all dressed to go to the beach. Um, I love Willow in general. I love her color scheme. Um, you know, the curly hair is super cute. Um, I like, you know, tossing some blue in there. Um, and I love her little fin. So the thing we didn't know what it was, it's like a, a little mermaid shoe, fin shoe, which is very cute, which is also her color changing accessory. Okay, so first it's icy blue. And it's still icy blue, but <laughs> it's little, um, this little stars on there are now pink. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the whole thing doesn't change color. It's just like the little like details on the fin that change color. Well, that's not super noticeable, but okay. <laughs> All right, so next up. Ooh, a different one. This one's a, like a carnival. Oh. Or like the boardwalk. I hope it's what's her face. Dee Dee, candy girl. <clears throat> Peace, love, and hair. And it's a hot pink comb. Ooh. A heart on it. Ooh, little black uh, flats. Black flats. Who could it be? Oh, I know who it is. It's Max's least favorite character. Oh, uh, what's her face? Brit or whatever. Yeah. Brit is actually kind of cute in this one. Yeah. Brit's she is actually pretty cute. There's like a there's like a cheerleader one. Yep, this is Brit. Cute little pink purse. So her color changing thing is her glasses. What kind of glasses are those? Oh, uh, horn rims. And like, it's changing color in my hands. See? Oh, I wonder if the rose, is it just the roses that change color or all of it? All or of the it. The whole thing. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, pink, but now it's... Oh, they turn like gold. Yeah. Kind of. Mm. Interesting. <clears throat> all right. To confirm our suspicion, let's open this one up. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Oh, it's, um... It's, it's oh, Skylar. It's her face. It's Skylar. Oh, it's her hair bow. It is oh, it looks so different on her picture. Look how different it is. Weird. Yeah, it looks like Brit to me on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Skylar. Yeah, that's, that's Skylar. Skylar. Um, what happened to her uh, purple streaks in her hair? It's only, it's only right here. They only give her that one. Yeah. Oh, weird. The hair Sad. bow is much smaller than I was expecting, too. Yeah. But it's so cute. Mm -hmm. So, this is. Global Skylar. Um, I think she's kind of an example of a doll that's like awesome in concept and somewhat iffy in execution. The bow on her is a little smaller and like schlumpier than I was expecting, but it is still very cute. Um, I'm also not totally sure what makes her global because she just has like um, Eiffel Tower on her shirt. But I do like it. The color change aspect of her glasses <laughs> seems kind of all over the place because they're I'm like looking at them now and they're like half of it is pink and half of it is gold. I do still like her. I think she's cute. It's weird. It changes in my hand. Like it's it was like it's pink now, but when I was holding it, it was yellow. Yeah, this one. I think there's certain color change items where it's just the quality of the color change feature is like it's more sensitive. Like it it'll just fade back and forth like while you're holding it, um, which is a little bit frustrating because what ends up happening with those is um, they look weirdly like multicolored when you leave it on the doll, but um, 
so cute. Number right. four. Number four. <laughs> All right, so we got a silver comb mm. with a bow in the center. All right, ooh, look at these uh, boots. Ooh. Like, who could that be? So her color change item is a star. <gasps> Did we get Neela? And, ooh, a guitar. Oh, no, we probably got Harmony then. Oh, that's, this is also color changing. So she has two color changing items. Wow. She's special. Ooh, if we got who I think we got, she is rare. Hmm. Oh, yeah, she's the equivalent of Royal Bella. There's only one rare and one ultra rare. Nice. Ooh, <gasps> look at her. Uh, oh. She is Harmony. We got Harmonic Harmony, and she is the series only rare. So there's one rare and one ultra rare. We just pulled the rare. So this is Harmonic Harmony, all dressed up and ready to rock. Um, she's very cute. She has an interesting hairstyle. She has like the buns, but the rest of her hair is super curly. Um, and it's, you know, it's like a mixture of um, a nice, like sea foamy blue and green and i like how her hair piece gives a little purple splash to that her outfit is really cute too um it's kind of interesting though her her accessory and her outfit are kind of giving me more like galactic like neela vibes um but her guitar accessory is really pretty it's like a metallic blue so she has two accessories to change color right it's both yeah it's her guitar and her hair piece all right, so time to dump. Ooh. This looks like the silver turns a blue, mm. and some like the gems are blue and red now. It's interesting. Some of them are like little minute details that change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what this is going to change to. Yeah. It's going to be blue. I'm pretty sure it's going to be blue. Let's try it. Mm. And it's blue. Oh, oh, cute. This is our finale. <gasps> Candy, did we Ooh. get Dee Dee? Yeah, braid, braid brush. Mm -hmm. Same stickers. Ooh, I don't know if we did get Dee Dee actually. These are these are purple shoes. Purple shoes. Like these are like heels. dark purple. No, they're not heels. They're like little. Oops. Oh, I think we got another Harmony. I'm pretty sure. Not not the same version, but it's because it's a microphone. She comes with a microphone. Ooh, yeah. This is for sure Harmony. It's a signature look. Oh. All this hairband is pretty. Very cute hairband. Um, Ooh, that one looks short hair. Oh, she has some blue. Oh, and fur. Oh my goodness. Love the little faux fur on her. All right, so our last poll was Open Mic Harmony. Um, so in the artwork, she's wearing that little tiara headband thing like this. Um, I think I like that accessory a little bit more as a hairband. Like this, I think it's a little, a little silly looking. But um, I like her faux fur, and I like the short hair, um, and I like her little purple stand. So her color changing accessory is the, you know, tiara slash headband. Dunk it. Ooh, this oh, one wow. changes a lot. That one changes quite a bit. It's like all purpley, like magenta. All right, so this was our poll from the series two of Hair Adorables color reveal. And I think we've got some cute ones here. Um, I do appreciate the fact that um, I feel like they did step it up quite a bit for the same price. They gave each character a stand, which is 
all we ever asked for in toys. It's really all we want. Give us a stand and we're happy right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think some of the hairstyles are a lot prettier too. I think they got a little bit more elaborate than the first wave. Also, I really appreciate that um, all the characters are not like stuck with a theme that's kind of restrictive. Uh, it seems like uh, there's a lot of variations in between all of them. The, the gimmick of like the color change I think is really cool too. Um, just keep in mind that they are they're very susceptible to, uh, to temperature changes. So something that's cold, uh, which changes the color, can quickly change back to its original color just by touching it. So be careful how you touch them. I mean there's less dolls to collect, which is you know a pro and a con itself. Meaning there's less to collect, so if you are um, itching to buy a lot more, then it kind of sucks. But at the same time, if you're a completist, then there's less to collect. I agree with pretty much all of that. Um, for the ones we pulled specifically, um, it's interesting we didn't pull very many of like the pastel ones. It's a lot of cooler colors that we got, minus Willow. Um, I was hoping for a Dee Dee or a cat, but these ones are still very cute. Um, and looking through the whole collector's guide, I don't really think there are any that I feel like I hate in person. Um, and I definitely agree, you know, basically increasing what they include in the, in the box while the price point is staying the same. As a consumer, we really appreciate that. So good job. Just play, you know what people value clearly. And you know, it's funny, I do think they definitely changed up some of the hairstyles, um, but I was hoping, especially because this line is so hair focused, I was hoping that they'd have even more fun with different types of hairstyles. And they did add some like all new ones, like, you know, the hair bow. And I really like hair adorables. I think that when you're talking about Playline dolls and things that are not super expensive and targeted more at adult collectors, but are still very high in quality. Um, I think Hair Adorables are one of the best brands to check out in that Playline realm. So definitely check these out if you're into more affordable Playline dolls. Because yeah, the hair on these are is super high quality. Um, we don't see doll hair of this quality much at all anymore in Playline dolls. So. I really like these. I definitely plan on purchasing more, so I think you guys should go out and enjoy these as well. Uh, make sure to check out my Instagram, Hexalence, if you want to see more pictures of these new hair adorables. So thank you for joining us for our unboxing and review of Series 2 Hair Adorables. If you want to see more, make sure to let us know in the comments. I'm sure we'll be buying more when we find more. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see from us next time, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.